most people don't believe this. And also people have experienced it. It's old tricks. Chairman Amalia Chatella says that they're always fighting the last war. And in the last war, they're using the same tactics of the last war. The, you know, the, the anti-Russia propaganda. I mean, we've seen this before. I, I wasn't even around in the 60s. I was, I was born in 1996. But even this history, I am clued in on that this is something that's always, that's been there in terms of explanations that they've used at given points of time when, they, when they've attacked African people. Uh, for, you know, malign influence and foreign agents and all these kinds of things. This has always been one of their tactics to undermine and de delegitimize uh, African people, uh, particularly those who are fighting uh, for our freedom. So these old tricks, um, people aren't falling for them. And I also want to just say that these accusations within themselves are incredibly insulting and they presuppose that African people don't have the wherewithal to first know that we're oppressed in the first place and to organize to fight for our freedom. And the fact of the matter is, when the first Europeans stepped foot onto Africa and enslaved the first African, Africans were fighting then. Africans have been fighting, have been fighting the colonizer, have been fighting our oppression, never accepted slavery and colonialism on our knees. We've always been fighting and we've always been killed. And every time African people have been close to achieving some semblance of self-determination, they've come and dropped a bomb on us. They've come and dropped a lynch mob on us and they've destroyed our movements of the past. So, you know, this this whole this this whole notion that somehow we need somebody else to come inform us that we are oppressed and that this is how you're supposed to struggle. It's absolutely absurd and it's insulting and we shouldn't take that because African people, it's the other way around. African people have influenced the world's struggles, have influenced how people carry out their revolutions. And it's been documented in history. I'm not just saying this. This is true. Ho Chi Minh in Vietnam, you know, had had seen the Garvey movement. And, and, and before the Garvey movement had, we learned the history and the lessons of the Haitian revolution, the first successful workers revolution in history happened in Haiti. And so we have this whole history of African resistance informing the, the struggles, the anti-colonial struggles of colonized peoples. And, and somehow today, African people are informed by, by somebody else in terms of um, our, our, our condition.